So we got the uh, spare tire mount welded up and painted and I'm pretty much okay with how uh, the fit and finish turned out on the mount. It's just got, um, yeah, it's not showing up too well in black. It never works so well. But anyway, um, it's just two by two tube and I don't know, I think it polished and painted up pretty well. Took the original plates and just welded the carriage bolts in there because I don't need to be able to switch them around. And took <clears throat> the original bracket, spun it around, cut a 45 on that, or I notched it. Basically everything is based on 45 degree angle, which I kind of thought was gonna work out pretty nice. I thought that'd be close enough to the angle of the boat here, but um, I'm not so sure that I'm really crazy about the angle. I guess I kind of like it standing a little bit further up. Um, honestly, I don't know how this is going to load on the boat. Uh, I guess I'm trying to keep it tight and close. Um, so it's not hanging out there like crazy. And I'm also kind of balancing uh, when the boat gets pulled up on the trailer that it's not digging into anything or hitting the, in the bracket. Hopefully uh, these here, hopefully that's enough of a get enough of a gap there. Uh, I guess we'll kind of double check on that. Uh, the other question I have on this is, I'm not really sure if I got the tire in the right spot. Um, I'll be honest, it's kind of right now, I kind of got it located there just for storage so that I got enough space uh, for this thing uh, to fit in there. That's gonna kind of open that up and I'll go in far enough. And I know it's not the best way to decide where to mount a spare tire based on storage function, but that's kind of what I'm thinking now. Uh, the other question that's probably going to be a little different is, i got to figure out, is instead of it being mounted up right about there, um, which is on the rail really close to the bolt, so there's not a whole lot of flex right there, is right here it's in the middle, and I guess I'm kind of afraid that the thing's just going to be bouncing around like crazy and just, I don't know, wiggling the trailer like crazy and either working itself loose or just sending a whole lot of vibration throughout the boat and through the hitch back up to the truck so uh for the most part i think the execution turned out pretty good i just don't know if the design is that great i think another five degrees up may have been better but anyway uh that's just a little bit of an update of where that's at we're gonna um leave it there for now uh get this thing park back in here it seems like there's a ton more space in the shed here now um but anyway uh pretty soon hopefully we'll get this out on the road and give it a test uh, kind of a shakedown on it and uh go from there but anyway we got it up got it moved and at least this area is a little bit rearranged <laughs>